all right so you are welcome so in this video i want to show you uh why graphic designing why the skill is stressful and time consuming for you and what you can actually do about it yes but before i proceed um i know the goal of any of every human here on earth is to uh, either make money save money yes and those that have business they want to grow their business so they can get more profit from it and i'm sure this is also one of your goals and that is why you're watching this video right so you want to be where your competitors are for those that have business you want to be selling out your product your services your offers effortlessly you want to talk and get people to listen to you especially when it comes to online yes i would say this that good designs is one of the factors you should put into consideration yes i won't say that good designs would guarantee you 100 percent sales but good designs will make you get the most out of your sales now imagine you're scrolling on the street of instagram and you just suddenly uh you you come across these two designs these two adverts you saw, you see this and you see this this and this which one are you going to click more to request for more info you see this you see this of course you are going to go with this because this is more uh amazing than this right especially when you are selling something high ticket maybe you are selling a 10k 20k 30k product and you are using all this type of design to promote yourself even if you are selling products uh 5k 3k when you have good designs, uh, you know what it means. This example, this illustration I'm showing you here now, you'd want to go for this simply because uh, this tells you that the owner of this brand is more serious about his business, his or business, right? With these good designs and it's communicating professionalism. I don't want to say much here, so let's get started. All right, so, uh, but it's just unfortunate because um, uh, it's, it's you are finding it stressful to carry out these great designs on your own so you find it it's taking you a lot of time to carry out so you just you don't have any choice so you just spend on graphic designers every single time you want to promote yourself you keep patronizing them because you find it stressful you have no choice than to patronize so this is why i'm putting this video together to uh, i like some reasons why this skill has been stressful why you have not been getting it done easily and you just end up spending on other people to help you get it done when you can actually save those money and improve yourself without taking without getting through a lot of stress right now why graphics designing has been stressful and time consuming for you number one you don't know principles you don't know principles now look at this design look at this design what differs what is the difference between this and this this one lack principles this one obey the principles that is just it you don't know the principles some persons they know the principles but they don't apply the principles and what are the some of the principles i want to say here i want to talk about the principle of um alignment okay so i would go to one of the app i usually use and explain more about this uh where is my pixel app okay so pixel app so this is one of the um okay so this is one this is the app not one of the app yeah i majorly used to have this app and canva so this is one i use mostly pixel app so i want to explain the principle of alignment our uh, graphic designing is actually not add when you are adding you are adding maybe you want to add something you want to add again you want to add again you want to add again you want to add i'm just using this as example new test new test new test this is what we call this is what we call what center uh, and sorry left alignment why is it left alignment uh it's at the left left side of the design left alignment right so is it that you use left alignment okay let me use uh, uh let me use uh, a background and uh, then i would use let me use black for this text color don't worry i will show you how to do all this on later on so now this is what we call what uh left alignment so when it comes to carrying out it is getting a design done is either you use the left alignment the center alignment or the right alignment now this is the left alignment if you want to work with the center alignment put it here if you want to work with the left 
uh, the right alignment just come see this align come here then this light uh, left alignment that's here right center alignment you click on this place it at the center left alignment click on this place it at the center but a lot of persons they spend more time they spend more time to get this done because when they put when they put when they put uh okay when they put this one here they don't know where to put the other they want to put the other here they want to put another one here they are just confused where to put they are just scattering the element all over the places and uh, uh it takes them a lot of time and at the end when they are done with it they produce a work design they produce a work design now look at this look at this look at this design look at it look at it, look at it, look at it. it's not arranged the principle of alignment is not to be there but look at this followed what this one followed uh left alignment you can see all the elements all the text elements place what place where left alignment you can also work with the right alignment you can work with the center alignment where you place this to the center place this to the center bring this to the center bring this to the center bring to this to the center yes this works uh when you're a newbie this is the process when it comes to arranging your designs is the process for you or you bring this to the left bring it this to the left bring this to the left to the left to the left yes yeah, so either you work with the right alignment center alignment or the left alignment don't just arrange them anywhere like this yeah. and and also one of the principles you should know is the principles of colors you don't just use colors anyhow imagine you have imagine you have a background like this a green background and you have this text look at it oh you have something like this you have something like this uh let me change the color to uh or you have something like this this is not actually cool enough this is not cool enough now a tip i would give you when you're using colors look at your design can you see this design clearly because when you are giving out a message where people would have to strain their eyes before they get the message well you'd see that you are not communicating mess the message properly and you are even repelling them you are chasing them away now look at this, this design again uh look at this look at this the color look at this color this color is not so cool with this background you for any if you are using colors let's say you want to use a dark background you want to use dark background then use a light test yes take for instance let's use a dark background you see that green over black is cool white color over black it's cool so if you are using a dark background use a light a white a whitish uh color something light you get what i mean or let's say you want to use a light background uh, you want to use uh, a white background then you use something black you use something black you use something black cool so that is another thing you should know that can actually ease your choice of colors right okay yes so that is one number two um number two is you are ignoring the pre-production stage you are ignoring the pre-production stage now what do i mean by pre-production stage you want to get a design done on what you what you are doing first is going to pixel up no you don't want to go to that software first you don't want to open the app that you want to use to design first you first of all think and sit down what do i want to design what do i want to get done what do i want to carry out you see when you don't have a goal when you don't have a goal, it will be difficult for you to focus. That's why you just go to Pixel Lab. You don't have that thing that you want to design on your head. So you just go to Pixel Lab and be trying things out, trying things out. Before you know, two hours, three hours, four hours, it's gone. All right? So uh, you want to get, I'm trying to look for one of the places I did something just of recent where I actually jotted some things down on the paper before I, uh, I go to Pixel Lab. Um, okay now uh, look at this look at this look at this let me show you with my camera look at this this is what I wrote this down on the paper yes I wrote this I just quickly uh, to know what I want to get done I want to carry out a profile design done yes I want to carry a profile design done so I just quickly did this on paper then I went to pixel up and I was able to carry out this done I was able to carry out this done See, I was able to carry out this done. 
So in less time, I was able to get this done because I've I've gone through the pre-production stage. I was able to know what I want to do. I was able to know the colors I want to use and everything. So I just uh, come to Pixel Lab and get it done. And in no time, I finished it. So uh, you are ignoring the pre-production stage. Write things down. Especially when you are just starting out, write things down. What do you want to do? What is? What do you want to carry out? How do you want to do it? How do you want to place it? Get that done. Yes. When you get that done, it will be much easier for you. Now, number three. Number three is you have no content of what you want to design. You have no content. What do I mean by you have no content? You just go to Pixel Lab. You don't even know the content you want to carry out. It's Take for instance, you want to design uh, a happy month, a uh, happy new month flyer. Yeah, let's say April. You want to carry out uh, a happy new month, welcome to April flyer. You don't even know what you want to write, right? You are uh, contemplate should I put a uh, welcome to April or happy new month or uh, should I put wishes, new month wishes? You are just confusing yourself. But when you get them done, maybe on the paper, yes, let me just put. Uh, welcome to april that's all or let me put welcome to april then i would write happy new month on that okay uh, or let me say i want to write uh, welcome to april then i'll put one a, a happy new month wish wish on that then i'll put my social media and do okay let me do it that way now when you when you plan when you plan the content you want to put there it will be easier it will be easier for you to carry out all right the other one is that you are experiencing creativity block you're experiencing creativity block that is why uh graphic design is kind of stressful you don't know should i you don't even know the concept you want to follow yes because uh when you don't know the concept you want you don't know should i put it this way should, um, should i put it this way or uh, how should i do it you don't even know where to start now when you are experiencing creativity block Number one is you don't know the principles. Number two is number two reason to that is because you are not you are not exposed to people's designs, other people's designs. Yeah. So take for instance now, it won't be difficult for Mr. Hay to come up with a uh, happy new month. Let's say Mr. Hay wants to come up with a happy new month design. Welcome to April. It won't be difficult for him or her to come up with a design if he or she has gotten some inspirations. Uh, maybe he or she has seen this. You see this, you see this, you see this, uh, you see this, you know, you will be able to get some inspirations from all these designs and know how to carry out its own, right? So when you gather some inspirations, when you get uh, some ideas, you don't just go to Pixel Lab or Canva or don't, the software you want to use. You sit down and brainstorm on what you want to do first, yeah, before going to Pixel Lab. So to ease stress and to save you time. Yeah, when you follow other people's, uh, when you follow great graphic designers, you are going to be exposed to the way they do their stuff, the way they do their designs, and you can be creative about it and get something done out of those works you've seen. Yes, so creativity block, creativity block. All right, so these are some of the reasons why graphic designing has been so stressful for you. It it takes you two, three, four, five hours. So you just beg let me just contact this graphic designer let's and uh any graphic designer that would help you uh, the least a good graphic designer would charge is five thousand five thousand ten thousand and all that and if you are to compile all this money together in a year uh it's you know how much that is right so when you are able to do all these things should uh save money for yourself and also make more money so in the next video i want to show you i want to engage in a practical session with you where you just have to get something done on pixel lab and you'd see yourself that you can actually be doing this without going through a lot of stress without uh without wasting too much of time and uh you'd see and enjoy the process yes so thank you for watching this video if you gained anything in this video just come to my dm and uh let me know what you gain yeah let me know what you gain if you enjoyed this video right so uh in the next video like i said would we'll be going through the practical session on pixel lab we'll get to design something uh for our brands on pixel lab yeah so thank you for watching um yeah have an amazing day